Yo, right, guys, it's Capgun Tom here, and welcome to episode number seven of my next gen FIFA 14 Road to Glory. Now, we are going to be starting off today by switching our squad because we've used the BPL team a couple of times. It's looking a bit unfit, as you can see from the fitness. Sandro's actually down on about 64 fitness, which is awful. So, we need to, you know, finish building our Liga Portuguesa team and uh, start playing with it so that we can rotate between the two. Now before we build this team, if you're looking to buy some ultimate team coins, go and check out Battle.com. Their link will be down in the description. One of the web's most trusted coin merchants and if you use the discount code TCAPGUN, you'll get 5% off all of your purchases. So here we go, you can see the team, we need a defender, well we need a centre back, left back, a and a goalkeeper, that's it. And uh, first off we go and pick up this guy called, I think his name is Sequera, is I think how you pronounce it. He looks absolutely unreal. He's got 81 pace and he's six foot I think he's going to be a really really good left back I know there's uh, Alexandro that I could play in that position as well but I was like let's try this guy out first because he was cheaper and um, we also pick up a center back called Reyes as well he's got 73 pace and he's uh, Mexican so I'm hoping he'll be a good signing and we also get Rui Patricio for goal he cost me about 750 coins it was a choice between him and Helton and uh, I just decided to go with Rui Patricio just because I wanted to see what he's like so there you go he's going to get added to the team and you can see now the team is actually going to be finished we have Varela we have Rodrigo we have uh, Carrillo at the uh, right wing position then we have Perez uh, Labiad and uh, a generic Portuguese centre mid I can't really remember what his name is um, and then across the back we have Sequeira we have Mangala we have um, the Mexican centre back we also have Danilo and then Rui Patricio and goal. Sorry if I messed up any of those players there, but I'm still learning. This is the first time I've built a Liga Portuguesa team, probably in about two FIFAs. So um, it's a bit of a learning curve, and I hope you guys are sort of learning along with me. Now we go into divisions. We're in Division 9. Can you believe the team that we come up against? 46 chemistry. He's got two bronze players in there. He's got, oh, it's just not a good team. And I was licking my lips. I was like, this could be a very good game to get off. Um, to a start with our with our Portuguese team and unfortunately we ended up giving away a penalty we end up coming across the man and uh, clipping him as he took his shot and of course it is resulting in a penalty I thought that I'd got the ball there but actually on second look I had clipped his foot and uh, it's a fair penalty to be honest we're in the 18th minute though so even if he does score we do have time to get back into it the graphics for the penalty I do really like them uh, the sort of cutscenes they are pretty cool but they are kind of long winded and I find that with all of the cutscenes on next gen they're just all so long winded and there's so many of them it's just like the game is so stop start I wish that they just, you know, maybe limit the amount of replays and stuff that you can have in a game. Now, we managed to get back on level terms. I believe it was, um, I think it was Rodrigo that actually went through there and put that one into the back of the net. Um, so that's a good start for him. Then we managed to get another goal. It was Carrillo from right wing that came in this time and he headed that one into the back of the net. And then, before I knew it, Varela is away. He's got the four star skills, used those four star skills well to push it past his defender and the goalkeeper, open up the angle, and he finesses it into the back of the net. So there you go, all of our front three ended up getting a goal but I thought that Carrillo didn't actually play all that well you can see there he had a 7.1 rating and I was expecting you know more to have an 8 so I was like let's go trade him out try someone different there's plenty of different wingers that we can use that are sort of like budget and I decided to go and get Danilo Diaz who I have used before but I used him on FIFA 13 and um, I think he was a centre attacking mid on FIFA 13 so now he's a right winger try him out he's got four star skills four star weak foot see how he does in that position maybe he'll take Carrillo's, Carrillo's place permanently and um, we're going to dive straight into another division 9 game and unbelievably again it is against a 40 chem team this time it has Torres and Vea up front and then um, well pretty much nothing at the back he's got um, John O'Shea he's got Carval, uh, Car Cajaval as well from uh, Real Madrid as well but um, not players that I was particularly worried about and you can see that we easily got into the front for Arela getting the first goal but he got back into the game it was a simple corner and uh, those you know corners still do work and it's quite frustrating because this guy had had barely any chances and he just shows that FIFA isn't like 100% skill based there is luck in this game because if someone can have no chances get one corner and score it how is that 
better than someone who's had 20 chances and, you know, only scored maybe one or two of them because the goalkeeper pulled off some amazing saves. Anyway, in this game, we did end up absolutely smashing the guy. He did pull one back towards the end, but it was too little too late and we do end up taking down a 4-2 win. Varela getting two, Rodrigo getting one and Labiad, Labiad also getting one as well. So good work from the team there. And I was like, you know what, there's some other players that I want to try out in Liga Portuguesa so, and this is the perfect time. Uh, there's loads and loads of wingers. So I was like, well, let's play a 3 4 3 uh, go pick ourselves up a right and left mid there's two very decent right and left mids in this league and I thought you know what we'll go and try them out because we're not going to get the chance again also we're going to need another centre back because at the moment we've only got two um, obviously we've put our two wing backs on the bench and uh, yeah there's the team we just need to go and fill the spots that remain on the pitch so first off in fact all three of these guys are going to be Benfica Argentinians so uh, I guess you can guess who they're going to be so we first off pick up Gaitan um, 81 pay or 81 rated 83 pace left mid and he looks pretty decent I think he's got four star skills so that's good uh, we also pick up Silvio an 88 pace right mid 79 rating overall he's got three star weak foot and four star skills he's only five foot seven though so he's not the tallest of players and we also pick up Gray, who's the highest rated centre back in the league unless you count his inform card um, but he is notoriously so he's got 57 pace which is kind of shocking so I'm putting him at the central centre back position because that way he shouldn't uh, you know come up against as so many runs and stuff he should be able to sort of just head stuff away and do the defensive work on the sort of like the edge of the box and stuff like that and not get caught out too much anyway I thought that and we come up against this team now this is probably the strongest team that we've actually come up against in Road to Glory so far it's a full Brazilian team with Pato, William and Hulk up front and fortunately for me we managed to take the lead great great work from I believe that was Varela there uh, going through and just finessing that one into the back of the net as the goalkeeper came out then look you can see here this is exactly what I was worried about with Garay it was just Pato he just ran through the middle he didn't do anything special and Garay just couldn't keep up with him so um, it does look like Garay may be a bit of a problem area on this pitch I may have to go back to using a four at the back formation or go and pick up a different centre back instead now we got into the lead but it was short lived as he managed to try to tie it up at two all with Pato again but in the last minute of the game we managed to score and uh, I was pretty happy about that because um, this guy was very very good uh, he was playing over the top balls all the time and abusing all of the things that you don't really want to have to deal with in a game of FIFA and uh, unfortunately for him he didn't win and we did which is good so um, there you can see we now have nine points on the board absolutely perfect great start for the Liga Portuguesa team I'm pretty happy to just use it as a rotation team after this had no problems well except that last game had no real problems winning with it although the games were kind of soft and in Division 9 whether it will fare well in the higher divisions I don't really know but by then we may have moved on to another team so we'll have to wait and see what happens on that front so guys hope you have enjoyed it let's see if we can get a thousand likes as always on this video and I'll upload another video tomorrow but other than that I'm going to have to stop talking subscribe if you're new and I will see you all next time